Hi guys, my name is Ashanduna Mutrebo and I go by the name It's Trebo on Instagram and TikTok. So kindly do follow my socials and subscribe to my channel. So on today's sit down video, we'll be talking about things to know as a university student moving to Cape Town. So to those who do not know, I am currently doing my second year at CPUT, the Cape Peninsula University of Technology. Moving to Cape Town is such an amazing and yet exciting journey as you're becoming to the most popular city in South Africa, Mother City, Cape Town. But so that's why I'll be making this video to guide you as a sister and as a friend. So tune in. Cape Town is the city that is known for luxury, leisure, and most especially the nightlife. The nightlife. If you know Cape Town, you know Long Street. Personally, I don't know about the nightlife here in Cape Town because I didn't go out during the night. I'm always going out. During the day, you know, have lunch, brunch with my friends, go to the beach, all those fun activities. The nightlife, they say it's good, but quite a bit dangerous, obviously, because now Cape Town is such a big city. And then all the students love the nightlife. Obviously, you're going to find them at Long Street. And, hmm, Gessana, kidnapping right here is on another level. So whenever you're going out with your friends at night, make sure that everything is secured, your batteries are charged, you know, sufficient battery to keep you throughout the night so that you can Uber or boat back to rest. And make sure that you guys stick together. Um, it's great to socialize, but socializing at night. Okay, so socialize at school. I stay safe guys, like I don't wanna lie, I don't wanna say much, but hmm. Mm -hmm. I have paranoia, which is why I don't groove, personally, personally. So in terms of student accommodations here in Cape Town, there's Property 24, there's Gumtree, there's Dick's Cone, and there's IOL Property. Personally, I used Property24 to find the accommodation that I'm currently staying at. So yeah, and I do have a few friends who used Dix Connect to find the student accommodation. So guys, whichever um, institution that you're in between Stellenbosch, University of Western Cape, CPUT and UCT, you can simply just look at the campus that you are within and look at the town or city that it is located at and then you can go on Property24 and all these other websites that I mentioned above so that you can look for your accommodation and yeah so that you don't have stress when it comes to transportation to move to and from campus you can just simply use the jammies or shuttles that are available at your institution and there are a lot of let me not say a lot, but there are employment opportunities within the institutions that we are in. Um, for example, there's, I'm going to talk about my campus. Actually, I'm going to talk about my institution because for others, I do not know much, but I do know that other students are working at the library, IT center, IT center being the information technology center, whereby you need help with registration, Wi-Fi password, accessing your Blackboard, Outlook and Teams. So they do employ students to assist there, the student peer promoters, all of that, and you do get paid. Stellenbosch University, it is a university that is located approximately 50 kilometers from Cape Town, so that is quite a distance. CBUT has about six or five campuses, Marbury, Wellington, Granger Bay, Belleville, and Cape Town Campus, Cape Town City Campus, known as Zona Blom or Dick Six. And UWC has two campuses. They are both in Belleville. They are approximately 40 kilometers away from Cape Town. UCT, the big boys, is in Jamaica. The emperor, the conqueror, the champion, the lion is here. It is located in Cape Town. 
I think there's one campus. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Actually, I don't know how many campuses UCT has in all honesty. So yeah, please do check that out. So now I'll be reading the questions that you guys sent um, to me on Instagram. So the first question is, how much is your rent? Guys. How can you ask me that question? <laughs> the place I'm staying at is a one bedroom apartment. So it ranges from six to 7,000. So the price is between there. And I think that is the cheapest here in Cape Town. I do not want to lie. I think it's the cheapest. Because the first accommodation that I stayed in, I'm going to insert two videos of me moving to Cape Town. So you're going to see the two accommodations here. Yeah. So the first one that I moved in um, was, it, was in Feb. It was a two-bedroom apartment. That place made me very lonely because it was big. I don't want to lie. It was big. And I was like, no, 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 I need to move out, you know? Besides, I was like, my parents are literally paying so much rent for a bedroom that is not working. Nobody's sleeping there because I do not like sharing. Particularly, so I had to look for another accommodation that was going to be a bit cheaper, of which I did find. So, yeah. If you are coming here in Cape Town to stay at a private accommodation, an apartment per se, you have to budget. Like, you have to budget. And you pay per month, obviously. You pay rent. If you do afford, like, afford, afford, you can buy, you know, you can buy. So the next question is, why do you choose to stay in an apartment and not in a student accommodation? So, reason being, I do not like sharing like I think I've said that more than enough times in this video I do not like sharing at all I have such a bad experience I used to stay at a boarding house with a group of girls like there was six or seven of us in one room it was spacious it wasn't like you know it was spacious the hospitality in that boarding house was exceptionally great because they made sure we eat, all of that was provided. Now the thing is, it was my roommates that made my experience go. I bang, I bang, I bang, keep you know, I'm from Kabamang, bang, keep her all cool, and I'm such a crybaby. I got frustrated when I couldn't find my clothes. I, I was like, what's happening? Where are my books? Where is this? Where is that? And I didn't tell you what I'm Because they look at me and traumatize. So, yeah. That. So, that made my experience like shiku kiku. So, I told my mom that, like, I literally told her all the events. I would literally call her, you know, I'd be like, Mom, this has happened. Yada, yada, yada. Da, 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 da. You know, we'll cry together. She'd be like, oh, yeah, so so you know, be strong, yada, yada, yada. And officially, I did. What is your experience living alone? Living alone has always been something that I've wanted, and I'll be doing a video on that. So, yeah, why don't you just subscribe so that you know, you know? So, since last year, it was something very, very big for me. It was very big for me and i you know there were ups and downs emotional breakdowns all of that and having to rely on my mom to call me every day like yeah there was a lot because moving in here i didn't have any friends but now i do and i love them so much you'll be getting a lot of content from my friends this year we are planning for my vacation yeah but i'm not gonna say much I'm not gonna say much, but yeah. Do you have visitors, e.g., your boyfriend? But home. But home. I side, I to the left, I to the right, I side. Don't piss me off, I'm. Let me carry on reading the question. If not, Gitela Ukuzo Bagash. Hmm. 
Keita looks like a very nice place. Hopefully I get accepted at your institution. Hopefully you did, cause I think registration is still open or something. Like, I don't know, for first years, I don't know. Hopefully you did and congratulations on your metric results, honey. Like, I'm really, really, really proud of you cause during the year you will write me messages and be like, oh, it's tough, da, 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 da. But you soldiered it up, you dug it out. So you should be proud of yourself. So guys, other questions, I honestly do not want to even bring them here in this video because they're out of context, you know? Sometimes I say it and I understand. Like, I did say what's the video about when you're asking me personal questions, like, wow. They're not even related to this video, so I do not want to waste your time. I don't want to waste your time. So guys, thank you for tuning in on today's video. If you really did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share this video to your friend or family who's moving here in Cape Town as a student. From your girl, it's Mbo, Ngunungun and Busise all day, every day.